Hello, welcome back to the Beauty Bloom channel where we talk about all things nerdy related to skincare. <clears throat> Today I'm going to talk about my very favorite skincare ingredient that we should all be using right now. Don't wait. Vitamin C. So vitamin C is great for so many things. So it's a super powerful antioxidant which helps your skin um, protects your skin from free radicals so pollution the sun all of these things are producing free radicals and antioxidants help scavenge those free radicals before they do damage so that's one really good thing vitamin C is above and beyond just an antioxidant because it actually helps improve collagen production in your skin so um, as we age, collagen production naturally slows down and then your skin loses some of its firmness and its smoothness. This is what contributes to wrinkles. Um, by increasing, naturally increasing your collagen production, you're going to improve your skin's firmness. Um, it also has been linked to blood, increased blood, bus, blood vessel formation. So that is also helping to keep your skin looking younger and firmer. It's amazing. There's really great research out there for that and I will absolutely share that in the comments, the links to those uh, published articles. And another really fantastic benefit from using vitamin C, um, a vitamin C serum every day is skin lightening. So it's been found to reverse the effects of photo damage um, and it helps with melanin reduction. So if you've got some dark skin patches, using vitamin C is going to help reverse those over the long term if you keep using it. And so um, most of us are familiar with l ascorbic acid, which is the proper name for vitamin C, and you'll see that on in most skincare. However, there are more forms of vitamin C than just l ascorbic acid. Um, you might see something called Tetra C, which they call it that because the real name is tetrahexyldecyl ascorbate. So if you don't want to try to say all of that, which I don't, we'll call it Tetra C. And this is a more stable, um, less potent version of vitamin C. So that's, um, vitamin C is really good, but there's one main problem with it, is that it is highly reactive and it can easily become a biologically inactive compound. And that way you're not getting, if, as soon as it reacts and oxidizes, you're not getting the beneficial effects. So having a more stable form means that when you're applying your skincare, that active ingredient has time to actually penetrate your skin and do benefits. So if you're using um, tetrahexyl C, it's actually effective at lower concentrations because it is less potent. And this is good because one thing you need to be aware of when you're using a vitamin C serum is it might increase photosensitivity. So using a vitamin C serum and not using any sunscreen, which we should all be using sunscreen every single day, put some sort of sun protection on, um, you can experience a little increased photosensitivity. So make sure you're wearing your sunscreen um, and be aware of that. Um, today I've got um, Cineserum C by Cinegens. This is the Cinegens Vitamin C Serum and this product in addition to having the Tetra C in it also has additional technology and so I hope you can see these little beads in here um, the little shiny spots now those actually are encapsulating the vitamin C so they just used mica which is a naturally occurring mineral it's non-toxic um, and that way the vitamin C is not only a stable version but it also doesn't interact with any of the other ingredients in this product until you use the pump and break the mica. It's a fantastic idea. It makes it shelf stable for much longer and make sure your skin is actually getting the benefit. So um, I am a Cinegens rep and I do sell this, but I would use this product even if I didn't sell this. This is fantastic. Cineserum C. Um, everybody should be using vitamin C serum. It's the number one anti-aging thing that you should be doing in addition to sun protection. Maybe it's the number two, maybe sun protection 
and then a vitamin C serum. Um, if you're going to spend the money to on vitamin C, you want to make sure it's active. You want to make sure it's stable. Um, otherwise, you're just basically using a very expensive lotion. So um, if you guys have any questions, I'm going to share some of the research uh, of the benefits of vitamin C. I'll post those in the comments. I'd love to know if you guys have any questions. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Erin's Beauty Bloom, and I will see everybody next time.